What's up, YouTube? Jack of all, Master Nine here. Um, I got a couple packages in the mail. Oh, uh, sorry, I haven't been making videos lately. I've been extremely busy doing other stuff, uh, working on the art, well, working on um, my bike and organizing the garage and working and you know all kinds of stuff. So. I uh, apologize for not uh, posting up any new videos recently, but I got, over the course of a couple weeks, I was, um, got a couple packages in, so I'm going to unbox them, and you guys can uh, see what I uh, got for myself. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to start cutting them open and sharing them with you guys, okay? Ugh. I know what most of these are, but I'm not going to spoil them. I'm sure from the description you guys are going to find out what they are before, uh, even before watching this video, but I don't know what they are right now. I know what some of them are, but not all of them, because I think there is a mystery box in there that I didn't buy. These are barrel nuts that I bought in for the clutch cable on my bicycle motor kit because I found out that um, when I go to install them, I'll, you guys will see, but I found out that the screw that's on the clutch lever that holds the cable in place is not strong enough alone to hold the cable in and the cable keeps on slipping. So I bought these to, it's an extra, um, it's an extra holder or clamp to hold the cable from slipping. So you guys see how I go to install these once I get to work on that bike. That bike's been out of commission for now because the rear spokes broke on me. Uh, it was a big mess, so um, that bike's out of commission until I get parts and repair it. So we're back to pedaling for right now. But in the meantime, I got the parts to repair that part of the bike. So um, next, um, this one. I think I know what this one is. I won't spoil it, but. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And I was able to get insurance on the RV. So hopefully either this week or next week I will be um, getting the RV into my possession. And I will be starting to make videos on it so you guys can see what I'm up against. and. You guys can be along for the ride of my restoration part to my new home. I am very excited for it. Okay, these are... I'm not going to show them all, but I bought five throttle and clutch cables um, online through eBay. part numbers it's backwards I know but I will read them off to you it's M B 0006 J 0243 B 34 and 1009 and these are a group of five clutch and throttle cables I figured I might as well buy five I only needed one might as well buy five because you never know when you're gonna need another one for another project so these basically go hand in hand there's actually one two there's four of them in here 
So they're going to go hand in hand with these when I go install them. Obviously, I'm not going to use all of them. I'll only use one. But when it comes time to do that repair, I have the parts. Okay, next. And this is the mystery box. I don't know what this is. So this is going to be a surprise for me and you. Hopefully it's not like the little toy truck that I got. You guys probably seen that video. That was that was pretty uh, pretty silly. Hopefully this is something a little bit more. Oh well. Oh. This is. A V8 gaming mouse for, I guess, a computer. We'll open it up and check it out. I might possibly use this. You know, I have one with the wireless keyboard that I bought, but hey, you know what? I like upgrades. It's not wireless, but it is laser. I like it. It's got a nice design to it. Looks pretty cool. Looks futuristic. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's wired though. It doesn't matter. That's cool though. It's got buttons, rollers on it. I don't mind it. It's pretty cool. It's a mystery gift, so. It's something that I'll definitely end up using, especially if I get um, another computer. Let's say I get a laptop or um, the RV. I wonder what these are for. They have springs, but it doesn't show. Not like they can fix or anything. Oh well. But I can most likely use this with the laptop for the RV. So that's that. Pretty cool. It's by Zulu Lang. Whatever that is. Um yeah, Zulu Lang. It's labeled as professional game equipment. Um it says wired game mouse seven dollars PC gamers black. So that's that. Pretty cool. I like it. I'm assuming that when you plug it in, it lights up and it says here that it's voiced. So I guess it makes noises. Let's see. So I don't know. I guess I'm not going to find out until I use it, but that's my mystery box. It comes with a little instructions, which are all in Chinese. So that's useless for me. So that's that. Next, I think I know what this one is. I don't want to spoil it. I ordered something way back and it took a while because I think it was before the pandemic hit yep I know what these are these are a pair of cargo pants that I bought back in the winter time for myself they're not bad. I like them. They got a lot of pockets. It looks like the size of it. The size large. Looks like they'll fit me pretty good. Nice deep pockets. Velcro pockets with zippers. It's nice. It's a nice addition to my uh, to my uh, wardrobe. 
some new clothes that I can take with me on my RV experience. So, bought this in April, didn't get it delivered till June. So, I just recently got this in the mail. I was uh, watching a uh, guy on YouTube. Um, this is actually a funny story. He's building a log cabin in Sweden. And he was wearing clothes like this. And um, I was watching him. And I, I liked his clothes. So I uh, tried looking for some. And I found those. So I bought them. But last but not least. This one I definitely know what it is. But I won't spoil it for you. This is my battery charger. I bought this to charge up the battery on my RV because I have to try and get it running. So this wasn't that expensive. It's not the greatest quality you'd expect, but it's fully automatic protect char quick charger. It charges 12 volt and 24 volt. It has automatic and manual and it's got a digital readout display. So, um, it says intelligent pulse repair type automatic identification of 12 or 24 volt. So it can do either 12 or 24 volt systems. So, um, doesn't have that thick of charger cables on it. It's got just a standard, um, standard 120 volt house plug. And then it's got two very short cables with uh, copper alligator clips to connect to the batteries. Does have a fan in the back of it. So, I'm going to definitely uh, test this out on my, um, my scooter batteries and see how it does with those. But, like I said, I bought this to uh, charge up my batteries on the RV, so... But that's everything that I have so far. I didn't get a little owner's manual. At least this is in English. So, <coughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. Those are all of my um, packages that I got. I did order some more. I have other things coming in. And, um,. Uh, they're on their way when they come in. I'll make a video on them. So, um, I'm going to have to end this video now. So, I got other things I have to do. But, um, that's pretty much it. So, if you like this video, uh, comment below in the uh, comments whether you liked it or not. And, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, hit the like button. Helps me out. Um, keeps me informed. And uh, that's about it. So, um, all you guys out there, stay happy, stay healthy. Uh, peace and love, and Godspeed. Till next time.